Faith Time is our weekly conversation on matters of faith. And joining us this morning is Sam Sinclair with Cloverleaf Baptist Church. Good morning, sir. It's great to be here, Chad. All right. We want to talk about the fact that we are getting closer to Christmas. Mm -hmm. And what is the incarnation of Jesus? Well, the incarnation is what Christmas is all about. It is uh, the, the fact that God the Son, the second person of the Trinity, who is God from eternity past, came into this world as a human being. He took on a full human nature, mm -hmm. was born of the Virgin Mary, and came truly as a human being to live in this world. We're talking about the concept of it, but why is it important that Jesus came to earth and was a full human being? Sure, no, that's a great question. Be Jesus came to this earth to redeem us from our sins. He's coming to this earth to really stand in our place and ultimately to go to the cross, to die in the place of sinful human beings. So he must be a human being in order to die in the place of mankind. Mm -hmm. At the same time, he also has to be God. Yeah. Because he's there to satisfy the demands of God's law, which are infinite demands. Mm -hmm. uh, a, a mere human could not meet those demands and satisfy the justice of God. What's the difference between Jesus being in human form and being like a demigod on earth? Is there a difference? Yeah, there, there, there is a very big difference. Uh, some people think, you know, like, oh, he's sort of half God, half man, sort of the mm. superhuman walking around. But the Bible is really clear that he really is a human being. We see Jesus in the, in the Gospels getting tired and getting thirsty and going through all of the experiences that we go through. Yet yeah, the book of Hebrews reminds us, yet without sin. Mm -hmm. um, at the same time, he is truly God. So a full divine nature, a full human nature in a single person. We'll talk more about this subject, the incarnation of Jesus, in the next hour of Faith Time on News 5 this morning. 